Hey there, welcome to Shep Rambles. I'm Shep, and I tend to ramble. About what? Well, anything and everything. And today we're going to ramble about California, because uh, California. So, as you can see here, there is this... Uh, of course, this is posted by CNN, so who knows how truthful this is, but still came across this and thought it was rather interesting. All right, so California is proposing to split into three states uh, for the November ballot. Now, just out of summary, I can understand why they want to do this uh, for better management, but I almost think that the reason why, why they want it, because California is a Dem Democrat state, I almost think that they want to break it up so that way they can have uh, more more influence in the presidential election so can't say I'm too happy about that I don't think California should be trying to um, upset the balance um, that we've had for you know, years, decades. I mean, heck, Texas is bigger, and they're still one state, so it's just California being California. <clears throat> I'd be happier if they would just split off and be their own country and just, <laughs> just go away. No offense to those of you living in California. It's just, I don't know, it just seems like over the years it's just gotten worse. All right, so anyway, there is this uh, initiative that would divide California into three separate states um, and it qualified to appear on a ballot in November's general election. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Oh, uh, we'll probably do a follow-up. Why not, you know? So Californians will vote whether to separate into three states, California, Northern California, and Southern California, which is subject to approval by U.S. Congress, which they may not approve. I mean, how are they? I, I mean, we've already got a lot of stars on the flag, so, you know, how are they going to squeeze more in there unless they're just keeping it 50 states and we won't recognize anything else? I don't know. Um, but this is proposals by a venture capitalist, Tim Draper, to break up California in a campaign called Cal3. And it's received over 400,000 uh, valid signatures. And basically the reason is Draper says that partitioning California into three states would allow regional communities to make better and more sensible decisions for their citizens to address the state's most pressing issues, including school systems, high taxes, de deteriorating infrastructure, and strained government. Okay, this here, um, I, I don't have a problem with. I, I, I can totally understand this reasoning right here. Uh, the California state government isn't too big to fail because it is already failing its citizens in so many crucial ways. And, yeah, from what I've heard from different sources, um, different news sources and, you know, just people in general, um, they have not been taking care of their citizens too much. And dare I say it's because they focus too much on refugees and illegals that they're not taking care of actual American citizens. Um, I don't know for sure, but that's the impression that I get um, based on news and how much focus they try to put on refugees and illegal aliens and stuff. Uh, you know, I st and of course that's the media, but I just I seem to see more attention on that, and then I see this here where it's failing its citizens. So it's it, I don't know it 
kind of makes you wonder. Anyway, Citizens for Cal 3 campaign spokeswoman Peggy Grand Grande said in a Tuesday statement that the reality is that for an overmatched, overstretched, and overwrought state government structure, it is too big to succeed. Californians deserve a better future. It'll simply divide the state into smaller, more manageable populations like North Carolina, South Carolina, Dakota, Virginia. California is already known for its northern and southern identities, according to the Cal3 website. But, as you can see, this is exciting news. But critics have slammed the partition effect as a distraction and say that breaking up the state will cost billions of tax dollars. This, this is an interesting little uh, paragraph here as far as it breaking up the state would cost billions of tax dollars. I'm not doubting this. I'm just wondering where would all that money go? Would it just be because of they would have to restructure government? Um, like the cost of all that? I would figure that whatever whatever is being spent now, you know, it's like when you're at a job and you're working and there's transitioning going on and, and you have to take on different projects and stuff like that. Do you get paid any additional? I don't know about you. I don't. So when I see something like this where it's going to cost billions of dollars, it's like, well, who's getting that money? You know, the people that are working, I don't think they're getting extra pay. What do, what do, I, what do I know? <laughs> I don't know. It's just things such as wonder it's probably a billion dollars for a shovel or something uh under the proposal each state would have about 12.3 million to 13.9 million people that's a lot for each state that's a lot uh, california would include six counties los angeles ventura santa barbara san luis obispo monterey and san benito southern california would include 12 counties, San Diego, San Bernardino, uh, Orange, Riverside, Mono, Madeira, Inyo, Tulare, Fresno, Kings, Kern, and, and Imperial counties. It's because I went for a walk and had water. I've got slight hiccups. Northern California would include 40 counties, including San Francisco and the remaining counties north of Sacramento. Well, you don't want to list them all here. You list the others. So, what are the chances of this happening? Well, if the measure is approved by voters, the governor will transfer the notice of state approval to Congress, which will vote to ratify the creation of the new three-state structure. And constitutional lawyer and professor Jonathan Turley had told CNN that congressional approval is not impossible, but not likely to happen as Democrats could feel they have too much to lose. Democrats consider California to be a single golden empire. It would be hard for them to accept it as, a th as three golden empires. I don't know. Don't the best things come in threes? I don't know. California gets 55 electors in the Electoral College, a powerful number that has been a, a huge immovable block for the Democratic candidate. Three smaller states would change that equation, which could make a lot of Democrats just... Okay, so... It's opposite than, than what I was thinking. That's kind of weird, though. Wouldn't they just divide the 55 amongst three? Amongst the three states? I mean, and it would be the same? Or maybe they would get more? I don't know. Of course, if it's split, then there's always a chance that, you know, out of the three states, you know, one might be Democrat, one might be split, and the other one might be Republican. So that could definitely work against them. Um, so Cal 3 sees this as an advantage. Electoral college votes will be divided among the new states. Yep, based on population. Roughly the same as they are portioned today, but with the additional recognition that comes with more direct and proportional influence over the elector electoral college totals. So this makes it sounds like they're going to have a bigger influence when it comes to elections, but yet it's saying that this is going to be um, divided amongst the three states. So I don't know. 
Um, it says the California states will have more of the region's influence within the federal government with more seats in the U.S. Senate. Um, and still, if it is split, it would still be underrepresented in the Senate compared with most of the U.S. California is rife with ideas on separation and succession. So, yeah, this isn't new. California's talked about um, succeeding for the union from the union. <laughs> yeah, right. One, one, the country would never allow it. I mean, Texas wanted to succeed, and when when uh, when Obama got elected, and well, that didn't happen. And out of all the states, Texas would be the most likely to be able to succeed on its own because, hey, Texas was a country by itself, um, and they joined the union. Now, California, I think that they think they can survive on their own. We, we already said they're failing their city. Isn't this the funny thing? That they, they have talked about succeeding from the govern or you know the united states but yet they fail their citizens <laughs> it's like an oxymoron it's like we want to be our own country but you can't even take care of your citizens anyway um at one time in 2014 i guess i missed this news maybe it's fake i don't know they were gonna try to turn california into six states but it failed to get the required number of signatures. Uh, and then last year, 2017, for something called Cal Exit, that's when they were trying to succeed from the U.S. Because, well, they just can't accept Trump. You know, it's like, get over it. All right. Trump's president. All right. Whether you like it or whether you don't like it, get over it. When Obama was president, Republicans had to get over it. So when it comes to you liberals and Democrats, Trump is president. Get over it. All right. It's it's not everything is going to go your way. All right. I, I'm sorry to break that news to you, but you can't have it your way all the time. All right. So Democrats have had their time. We have Democrats and we have Republicans. It's always been this way to help create a balance so that way the country is not lopsided in one direction. We have to have that balance. That is what has helped our country be what it is. So chill out and just plan on the next election. All right. You know, stop this garbage that you're doing with the media and causing all these problems and trouble. Just stop it. Stop being stupid and idiots and stuff. Anyway, I'm, <laughs> I'm done. I'm off my soapbox on that part. Um, blah, blah, blah. Plenty of ideas about splintering California smaller states have popped up. Um, and the rest of it, who cares? So... What do you think in regards to California being split up into three states? Um, you think it's a good idea? Uh, do you think it's even possible? Um, if, they, if they can't even take care of the citizens now, I'm going to assume that's because of finances. So if they don't have the finances to take care of its people, spending billions of dollars to split it into three... I don't see how that's going to make things better. That's like digging a deeper hole. That's what it sounds like. Um, maybe California should just fall into the ocean and, and be done with it. Um, I don't know. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Um, and maybe you have thoughts on what California could do. So if these are not good solutions, what do you think California could do to improve? What thing, what, if you were in the government office, what would you do? What would you do to make California a better state? I'm curious. I'm interested. So let me know your thoughts uh, in the uh, comment section below. 
Uh, appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. And uh, if you like the videos, like smash that like button. Yeah. Smash. <laughs> no, don't don't smash the the like button. I don't want you to break anything. Um, you can click the like button. I would like you for that. Um, as far as uh, subscribing, that's always a thing. If you subscribe, then hey, guess what? When I make a new video and upload it, you will know. How about that? But anyway, thanks for checking things out. And I will ramble with you next time.